Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam full of hounds that don't know when to stop Until the old male Rambo's his name It's quick on his feet, hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast, but she's true on the track She's got to drive and she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your veins, you can't Time is passed down through your family name. It's a pack of dogs coming through the pines. Lights of fire in a young boy's eyes. It's the word of the hound. It sounds just right. It's dog tired. So I guess when did you start Pro Sport? I don't remember what been, year. Three years ago, June. Yeah, been the yep. I've first been the first one been at Mount Orb, Ohio, and uh, Levi, Levi and his dad and Grandpa owned the Ford dealership, and so he talked about giving the truck away, and that's where we kind of got started. Uh, started with the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of met in Scott's garage one night, and uh, kind of knocked knocked out the details and decided. You know, we was going to try one, see what happened. Never dreamed of it being where it is today, you know. So. So I think we just wanted to just offer a, a you know, a hunt that, that that's a quality bang hunt. for your buck for the hunter. And, and then it just kind of grew organically into, in, into this. So. It seems like it's grown pretty well. Like when you first started, was there a lot of interest or people kind of? So that was kind of funny. We didn't, uh, we didn't know how it would go, whether there would be interest or whether there wouldn't be. But I think when we put the first one, when we put the first one out there, we yeah. scheduled the first one. You know, we needed like 64 entries, and we had like 100. Yeah. You know, so it was like, whoa, this is going to work. Yeah. Especially yeah. with coon hunters, if you get a new truck, that's everyone needs a new truck. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. that's a good yeah, deal. That, that was actually COVID year, and mm -hmm. and we were going to do it in March. Oh. And uh, we had to. You know, move it, move it on out because of COVID, and the original club we was going to have it at, you know, that because of COVID and mm -hmm. everything, they didn't want to host it. So we had, we had moved it right down the road yeah. to another club. And was it May? Yeah, May, it was May, May or June was when was we May. had our first. One. And it was pretty touch and go even for that. I know we we had to rent a tent rent, so everybody yeah. would be outdoors, and yeah, we had hand sanitizer. I mean, it was a little, it, it was it, it was, was a little touch and go. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> nobody was shaking hands. Or, yeah. <laughs> I guess how did this uh, this hunt come about? So this one here, um, John Strickland, at about uh, 11:30 at night, I was I was actually in my recliner taking a nap, and I wake up to my phone blowing up with a hundred text picture of picture of a truck like this, and uh, man, we're gonna do we're gonna do a hunt, blah 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 blah, and John was all fired up. So I'm excited about having one of these, and I was like, man. So I call him. I'm like, John. You know, he's like, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I said, your numbers won't work. And he's like, oh yeah, they will. Don't tell me. And I said, like, they, they won't work. Call me in the morning. We'll talk about it. So John, you know, is the one that kind of the the bigger yeah. hunting for the the bigger the Black, Black Widow Black Widow edition. Yep. So of course he's a he's a fancy car guy. So <laughs> he'd be the one to find this guy. So do you have any big hunts coming up? Yeah, we, we just got done um, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we had a $100,000 hunt. I'd like to, you know, that first $100,000 hunt that we had, I can remember us talking um, 32 dogs hunting for $100,000 first place, and would the people pay $6,500 entry fee? And, and really, when we put it out there, we was worried. We, 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 I know me and you didn't think it would work to start with, and that was another one. When, when we put it on sale, put it out there for sale, we had 64 or 70 entries, <laughs> you know, and we've taken 32, so we've done a, a wheel. We spun a wheel for, for those entries. So, um, so far, thank the good Lord, we've not we've not had any trouble selling any of our hunts out. Everybody seems to like them. And, and we try to, you know, like even with bringing you here to, to cover this, 
uh, to hunting for a hunt or for a truck like this no. to uh, the great venue that here at Willard Muddy's that we're having it at. Uh, just the more excitement we can put out into the coon hunting world. Yeah. And uh, we want people to look at this, what's going on, see it on social media and say, hey man, I want to come to, I want to come to a pro sport. You know? So that's, that's what we want to do. You know, that's, I know that's my goal in life is being a coon hunter is to, <laughs> you know, uh, I love coon hunting. I love the sport. I love the people, believe it or not. And I just got done <laughs> taking pictures and was, my, my blood pressure was up trying to get everybody in there and seemed like probably not the nicest person in the world sometimes, but that's, I mean, I, I love it. So that's. We want to bring the excitement to the hunters. So. Is there anything you want to add for you? Uh, they, you know, thanking the, the guides, the guys that guided and in, in this area here and anywhere, and uh, definitely the judges. I mean, I think one of the big parts of making this thing go is having good judges, and that's hard to do because most of them are hunting. So being able to find them quality judges and them driving out here and uh, helping us, that's a big thing. And then definitely uh, the hunters. You know, this is kind of a different bunch. I feel like uh, this is a, a different bunch of hunters that is trying to, to uh, promote the right dog winning and uh, they're uh, the best dog winning, let's say. So um, it's pretty quality. I think we got quality, quality hunters, quality judges, quality guides, and a quality setting. And you've got to, that's what makes our hunts uh, very well. Yeah, yeah. We, we have, <clears throat> We have coon hunts in, in, in coon friendly areas. So so that makes, that's what makes a coon hunt, tree and coons. You're out yeah. here to tree coons, not not uh, try to not call your dog to play defense. Yeah. It's, it's basically all offense, you know. So, uh, one and thing, the guys are good, they'll find the coons oh, for you. Oh yeah, like everybody. Yeah, it's it's kind of, you know, you, most time the coons found before you ever get the tree, it's not one of those, hey, he's got his light in the tree, he needs scratch. There's, none of that you know what i mean we're, we're here to for the best dog to win i, I want to touch on our sponsors you know joy dog food um yoder nylon razor lights midwest laser works uh billy linton coon squallers um integrity medical uh, you know that they a lot of these guys have been with us from the start uh, they give some yeah. nice prizes to to the hunters uh, we appreciate that and and we're always looking for more sponsors you know we're looking for We'd love to have that, you know. We, we try to we try to promote you. We try to get your name out there, and, and you know we're always looking for more to come on. So, uh, especially we could use sponsors if we we kind of get this youth deal together. Yeah, we yeah. we've got uh, that you know, would be Levi, in the works. Uh, touch on that a little. Bit. Yeah, we we we've been uh, we're, we're kind of in the works of um, um, getting a youth hunt together for the fall. Well, it's actually going to take place at the end of this summer. We're thinking. Trying to uh, before the kids yeah. get back to school. Yeah, you know. before the kids get back to school, and uh, that's something I think we're going to come out with here in the next week or so. Um, but something we're going to try to make sure it's um, everybody that that wants a chance to be there can be there and, and give them a quality prize to hunt for on on a, a nominal entry. So um, we're, we're really excited about that. So that'll be coming out pretty quick too. I tell you, thank you for coming. Um, when this whole thing come about. To be honest with you, I had about three Red Bull and vodkas in me on a Sunday night. And I'm like, man, let's do this big, nice $100,000 truck, and blah, blah, blah. I started putting the numbers together. I, hell, I go ahead and listen on Facebook. They're, they're asleep. They don't know anything about it. So I start getting all these texts, bam, this is gonna happen, bam, 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 bam. Well, Maynard gets up from his nap and calls and says, hey, dude, I don't know what kind of numbers you're doing, but you've left a whole lot of stuff off. So what are you talking about? I ain't left nothing off. This is John Strickland. I know everything, you know? Anyway, so he said, well, how about you guys? Yeah, I kind of forgot about them. How about your judges? I said, well, hell, I forgot about them too. He said, well, food, and then I clicked. Oh, no, this is a hunter appreciation hunt, boys. Y'all are making no money. It's going to cost y'all money to have this hunt. So see, I turned that around to a positive to help me out there. And then I had to get online the next day and bump everybody's entry a couple hundred dollars. Y'all remember a hundred dollars. But in all honesty, you can look around and figure out real quick that there, there's no money made at this hunt. And everybody wants to put it all about money and, and it ain't all about money. It, it, it's the camaraderie, it's the, the sport we love, it's, it's the things that, that we do to get prepared for a hunt like this. 
And it's the fact that we hunting for the badass truck ever been given away in the coon hunting world. That's, that's what it's about. So I, I'd like to give these guys a hand for, for saying, hey, you're right, let's give back. It ain't all about a profit every now and then. We, we got to get back. So let's give Scott Levi and, and, and Greg a hand. by Walmart and I was going to get some of the pins. I was going to give him a little gift. I was going to get Levi some of the pins so when he was sitting out there with, with weed, he wouldn't have to go. He could just do his business right there. And Greg, I was going to get him some wet wipes because that's all he talks about in his life, you know. And Scott, and we can vouch for this, last couple times he's grew me or, or I grew him judging, he can't hear. So I was going to get him one of the big old funnels and say, hey, you walk around with this for now. But we, we dropped the ball and and that didn't happen. But if you can see, there was a lot of money spent, a lot of time, a lot of effort. We appreciate y'all, and that's what it's about to y'all, you guys. Um, who come the farthest? Who drove the farthest to get here? How far? Thir 13 hours. Anybody else? This is pretty important, guys. If you drove the farthest, you're going to want, want in on this thing. Any bride drive over 13 hours? No? Come on up here and get your... Awesome. Show them what Take a picture of that. That's for driving 13 hours. That, that's the appreciation we're talking about, guys. It just, it's all about what we love and what we do. Um, I do want to say something while we're here. I, I know half the coon hunting world thinks that John Strickland owns part or half or percentage or one percent or something pro sport. I don't own a dime of it guys. I just want to see somebody in the coon hunting world appreciate the guy that's paying these entries, just driving 13 hours, just putting six nights a week on these dogs. I want to go to a hunt where when you win it, they don't hand you a box as you walk out the door and say, well help us load our truck because this deal's over. I want to go to a hunt that when you walk in, they say, hey, congratulations, we appreciate you coming. Here's a little token of our appreciation. That, that's all I'm out for. I, trust me, I got enough going on. I absolutely don't want a bunch of coon hunters calling me at Sunday morning. Oh, I got cheated here, I got cheated there. You couldn't give me the whole thing. But these guys are passionate and they got thick, thick skin and they can do it. So. But it's going to take more than, than these guys. It's going to take us. It's going to take me. It's going to take you. It's going to take Billy Bell. It's going to take you. I, I mean, it's going to take Jason Daughter. It's going to take David Blake. It's going to take everybody. They can't do it on their own. They can't continue to put a quality hunt on, on their own. They can't do it. you got to have Billy said, hey, guys. It, and they, they got jobs. So like this deal here, they didn't call up and say, let's do this. I called and said, hey, we doing this. So Billy Bell, you need to call up and say, hey, I got an idea. Let's do it. West Hamilton. I don't know how damn I would win that driving contest. I promise I'd come all the way to your house. You know, Louisiana, Ronnie, Dustin, everybody in this room has got to come together if we want to keep this thing going. Because I promise you, if you don't think it's a nosedive in what we do, you just look around. Every corner's got a house on it now. Nobody wants to give you permission to hunt. The damn American Cooner is going away. Come on, guys. I mean, that's like, but if we all do stuff like this and stick together and push it forward, hey, there ain't nobody going to stop us. You know, we might have to change. We might have to bend and, and kind of maneuver and, and do what, whatever it takes, you know, to get more hunting. But it's not going to happen until everybody helps. And, you know, I, I appreciate everything that everybody does coming out here to sacrifice along and leaving families and whatnot. But if we want this to continue to do it, we got to do it. When you get the winner, everybody get a card. All this stuff and some more stuff under the counter is going to be door prizes tonight. So you want to get a card? We're going to pull a card. We're going to tear it in half like normal and give away this stuff. Uh, everybody that enters get a little bag. It ain't much. There's some bug spray and dog treats and water and, and, and stuff in here. But we do want you to have it. So uh, with that, I'm going to quit talking, turn it over to Greg, and eat.
All right, he stole my he stole my show tonight, so I'm not going to talk much. Okay, uh, I'd like to uh, again, like John said, hey, this was everybody was on there talking about pro sport, talking about this, but this was John Strickland. Yes, he was Red Bull and Vaki that night because I told him I said you're drunk when he come up with this. But let's give John a big hand for for putting this all on for us. Good luck to everybody and. Uh, Thank you all. Without you guys, we couldn't be doing this right here. And truly, this is what I love doing. So thank you all for coming out and supporting us. We appreciate you. Cast one, nine, Terry Yoder and Bobby Bird. Power, Travis Black, handled by Randy Fegley. Water, Parker Reese, handled by Tyler Jackson. And power, Levi Stevenson, handled by Dusty Sweet. High, Adam Campbell, Greg Maynard is a handler. Lady, Randy Smith, John Strickland, handled by the famous Judas Bowling. Wall Street, Perrin and Perrin, handled by Trey Perrin. Hank, Perry Yoder. Bobby Burton, handled by baby boy Zach Burton. Got a heads up, Nikki Hale, Pete Olivia. I believe Nikki handled. We got Crash. Not sure who the owner is on it. RMK. Davey Newman is the handle. Spice. Nathan Guthrie, Dale Kinder. Handled by Ryan Krause. Oxidine Jar, owned by Ashley Oxidine. Strickland, handled by Dale Huff. Philip Finn is the judge. Screamer, Terry Yoder. Bobby Bird. Handler, Sean Bird. Rocket, Dustin Stewart. He's done the handling too. Polly. Bruton and Willis, Wendell Bruton, the handler. PBR, Sasser and Smith, Nick Brady is the handler. Philip P is the judge. Cast five, Darren Baxley is the judge. Bark and Betty, owned by Strickland. Mullins, Benningfield, handled by John Strickland. Snake, Chris Smith, Cameron Hines, handled by Chris Smith. Paycheck, Roger Shable, handled by Brandon Cosselman. Fire, Kevin Martin, Cody Sheep, handled by Chad Ryder. Cast six, John Urban is your judge. We got Ava, Scott Engel, Randy Morgan, handled by Captain Randy Morgan. We got Jed, owned by Brock McDaniel, handled by Jason Dockery. We got Deadbeat, owned by Trip Duke, handled by Ronnie Rowe Weed Davis. We got the hundred thousand dollar man as a judge, Josh Sizemore. We got Dude. Randy Morgan, Scott Engel, handled by Scott Engel. We got Woody, owned by Doug Miller, handled by Sean Ford. We got Red, owned by J.R. Wall and Wes Hamilton, handled by Wes Hamilton. We got Backwater Radar, owned by Rob Benson, Foodrill, and I'm not, I can't see that last name, handled by Rob Benson. Hey! Mike Weller, as I call him, is the judge. We got Checker, owned by Young and Lever, handled by Lane Lever. We got Molly, Fields, Douglas, and White, handled by Brent White. We got Norm, Alan Holden, and Jason Cooper, handled by Jason Cooper. We got Finn. Owned and handled by Leon Van Fleet. Cast nine, Johnny Hamilton is your judge. We 
We got Farmer, owned by Eric Henry and Bart, handled by Steve Gant. We got Fred, owned by Justin Kinsley, handled by Eli Leverett. We got Connor McGregor, owned by Billy Wood, handled by Austin Gentry. We got Ruthie, Monty Gus, and Dunn, handled by Monty Gus. And Michael Brock is the judge. We got Hobo, owned by Strickland, Oxidon, Galbert, and Guthrie, handled by Jeff Rickless. We got Big Food Foot, owned by Nikki Hale and Pete Olivia, handled by Charlie Fry. We got Debo, owned by Bobby Taylor, handled by Trey Hewitt. We got Sonny, Elton Corrin, Zach McBee, Roger Shagel, handled by Zach McBee. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, let's give a great big hand and thank these young ladies and everybody here at Muddy for having us here at their uh, awesome place. We, we kind of, uh, I don't know about you all, but I kind of like to make this a home of pro sport and have all our big hunts right here. It'd be pretty nice. My name is Dustin, I'm hunting Rocket from Byron, Minnesota. This is Polly, and I'm Wendell, Wendell Bruton. Thank you. Sean Burton, hunting the dog, uh, belongs to Terry Yoder and Burton. Uh, dog's name Flat, uh, Flat Rock Pike and Screamer. You want to introduce yourself, what dog you're hunting? Yeah, I'm Nick Brady. I'm hunting. Uh, Hillbilly PBR. He belongs to Kevin Sasser from North Carolina. Thank you. Fifty circle rocket has 200 pending Polly has 175 plus PBR has 125 circle and 125 pending 
Dog is this? Polly. Polly had 300 plus. Polly was 300 plus. And then Rocket, Rocket was 225 plus. Screamer and PBR both had 140. Oh, yeah. Sir. Judge, Lady, Judas Bolin, Power, Levi Stevenson, Owner, Dustin Weed, Handler, Spice, Guthrie and Kinder, Ryan Krausen's a handler, Debo, owned by Bobby Taylor, handled by Trey Yu. Okay, lady. Lady. Present. Randy Smith, John Strickland. Right here. Cast two, Josh Sizemore is the judge. We got Farmer, owned by Henry and Barnes, handled by Steve Yan. Radar, Benson, Neutral, and Brown, and Brown, handled by Rod Benson. Red, J.R. Wall, owner, Wes Hamilton, handler. Ava, Scott Engel, Randy Morgan, Randy Morgan is the handler. Josh Sizemore. Cast three, Mike Dowler is the judge. Little Willie, Levi Stevenson, he'll be doing the handling also. Paycheck, Roger Shavel, Brandon Kosselman. Brandon Kosselman is the handler. Speck, Terry Yoder, Bobby Burton, Zach Burton is the handler. Norm, Alan Holding, Jason Cooper, Jason Cooper is the handler. Dowler. Cast four, John Irvin is your judge. We've got Echo, Scott Engel, Randy Morgan, Scott Engel is your handler. Connor, Billy Wolf, the owner. Handler, Austin Gentry. Wall Street, Perrin and Perrin. Trey Perrin is the handler. 
Holly, Bruton and Willis. Wendell Bruton is the handler. 2.30 deadline, guys. 2.30 return deadline. Ronnie, spectating with us. Good luck, everybody. Before you get turned loose, you introduce yourself and what dog you're hunting? Uh, I'm Austin Gentry, hunting Connor McGregor. Uh, Polly, I'm one of the Bruton. Thank you. Hey, I'm Scott Engel, and this is Wipeout Echo. Yeah, my name's Trey Perrin, and the dog's name's Wall Street. I was thrown off because the house dogs was on the other side of the Port last night. Good luck to everybody. Good luck to everybody. Get them by the collar. Arr, Cut them. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck. Hunter, Jackie. Hunter, wait a minute. Come on, Scott. 75, under the minute. 50, under the minute. Connor doing that all squealy. Oh. Okay. They found a coon, so we're heading to the next one. Good job, Scott. Good, 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 good job. job. And it's up. Who's this right here? Uh, this is all Polly right here. Echo just struck him. Wall Street had a coon. You hear 
here, mate. Got you. Cut him. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Connor's got a 200 plus. Echo's got 275 plus. Polly's got 125 plus. Wall Street has 175 plus. Echo just treated in for 100. Yes, Echo treated in for 100. John, you hear me left handed? Yeah, right there, I got Echo at 400, Connor at 325, uh, Wall Street is 175 plus 125 pending, and uh, Holly's at uh, 125 plus. He's been hushing up, hadn't he? Shut up some here. I mean, more than. He'll chew some. Before we get turned loose, you want to introduce yourself and what dog you're hunting? No, I'm Steve Yent, hunting Wipeout Fun. Thank you. Wipeout Echo, and uh, I'm Scott Engel. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself and what dog you're hunting? That's Steve, that's, that's Steve though, that's his dog. He just got me no. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Troy. All right, you're handling Debo. Yes, sir. Dustin Weave with Little Willie. Thank you. Willie's minus 75. What? 
the same dog that barked that you guys struck this I'm going to question it. You can question it. All right. Debo Street uh, was struck in for 50. Go ahead, everybody. Bush struck for recording. No win. And Johnny makes a good light. They're all good light. Yeah. Farmer tree. Farmer tree 100. Right there's kitten coon right there. Farmer had another coon. Echo just struck in for 25. Echo just treated in for 100. Um, Echo's got 275 plus. Farmer has 175 plus. Debo has 225 minus, and Willie has got 175 plus. All right, we got uh, Scott Engel here. This is our uh, Black Widow uh, pickup truck winner. $91,000 pickup truck. Echo and Scott Engel, congratulations. Thanks, sir. Great win. Got, uh, what do you think about it? Whew. It's been eventful, that's for sure. It's your second truck you've won? Yeah. Second truck, Echo, Echo treated a couple coons, look good. And, uh, started raining here on us. And, um, trying to get in here too, and you can't stand here and are in the middle of the woods. So. Is that rain kind of hard? Yeah. I don't know, I kind of thought it would have been up in, up in there, and if I was still hearing him, it would have been over in there. If I had to go one way. But I yeah. uh, couldn't hear him, so. I was yeah. glad the two got me. We, we've been, <laughs> I've been waiting on that for a bit. Yeah. Uh, Early round, you scored five something, I believe. Had a real five and a quarter. Five and a quarter early. And, uh, had a real good, real good hunt. So, uh, well, congratulations, man. That, uh, that'll be sweet driving home. Does, does 
Our buddy Ruble here. Does yeah. he get to drive it, or yeah. you yeah. get to drive? Get a video of my old buddy Ruble here. He's still walking. Put your he arm around him here, Rube. You're, you've been most of big, big wins. You've been there with him. <laughs> He's so. been right there. That's right. So uh, he drove the ship. Yeah, Ruble, what do you want to say? Say something here. I want to see if he gets choked like up. Ruby get, Ruby get choked up. <laughs> 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 no, it was good. Good. Glad to be yeah. here. Good bunch of dogs. And thank you, Clayton, for coming out here and doing this. Yeah. Greg, for doing what you do. And and uh, everybody back home for taking care of the farm over there. While we're out here doing this. Yeah. Good job. Good job. I'll echo that. Uh, uh, I think that'll put him right around 300 and some thousand dollars lifetime winnings um in in pro sport alone and i think pkc what he's around three hundred thousand pkc or what is he at PK? no 192 192 pkc so uh the old dog now here's the question last week we seen a post um for sale um give someone a chance could have could have someone else could have took this dog and won won all this with it so is he is he going to still be hunted or is he going to be retired uh, the public stud, or is he still for sale? Man, that's a good question. He's going that's, home. That's a good. He's question. going. Ruble, Ruble said he's Ruble going said home. One thing for sure, he's going home. He's going home. That's <laughs> fact. All right, good deal, Scott. Congratulations to you and Randy. Awesome job. Awesome dog. Great weekend. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the the Muddy's uh, restaurant up there. The girls that uh, put together everything for us and, and uh, hosted this for us. Um, Philip Finn and all of his guides and all of his help with putting on the hunt. Joy Dog Food, Yoder Nylon, Razor Lights, um, Midwest Laser Works, Billy Linton Coon Squallers, um, you know, Integrity Medical. Thank all you guys for, for all you do for us. And, uh, man, we, we, we appreciate you and uh, can't wait to put the next one on for you. So, Clayton, thanks for coming out here and, yeah. and, and uh, having us out here. So. We're gonna get these dogs rounded up and get a little bit of sleep before we head back to, to the house. So, thank you. Yep. Good boy.